the 18th International Chopin Competition recently took place in Warsaw, and as always, it was a star-studded cast of competitors. This year's results brought little drama, but that hasn't always been the case. Politics, biases, and general public unrest about the results has affected competition years in the past. A particularly interesting case happened in 1932, during the second iteration of the competition. In it, Soviet pianist Alexander Uninsky and Hungarian pianist Imre Ungar tied for first place, an event that at the time was the first instance of a tie in the competition's short history. There are two versions of how the subsequent events unfolded. The first version was that the regulations of the competition that year didn't allow ties. The rules stated that in the event of a tie, drawn lots would be used to decide the winner. In this case, the method used was a coin flip. In effect, a tie was never considered common enough to have alternate criteria to judge on in the event of a tie. Instead, the judges decided they'd rather leave the decision up to random chance. The second version goes like this. Ungar was unsatisfied with the idea of sharing first place, and in an almost Ricky Bobby-like, if you ain't first, you're last way of thinking, Ungar protested the tie. He decided he'd rather risk a second place finish than tie with a competitor for first. In this version, it was Ungar's own protest that led to the flipping of a coin. In either case, the first prize was decided by a coin flip. Uninsky ultimately winning the toss and electing to receive first prize. Ironically, Ungar was blind. He lost his sight at the age of three by what is thought to have been a brain tumor. He had no way of initially knowing if the coin landed in his favor or not. He was left in the dark, relying solely on the jurors and competitors present to relay the outcome to him. Uninsky's win was the second of three consecutive first prize wins by Soviet pianists to start the Chopin competition's history. It helped cement the dominance of the Soviet Union in the early years of the competition. It wasn't until the fourth iteration of the competition in 1949 that a non-Soviet pianist won. Polish pianist Halina Czerny Stefanska won that year. It just so happened that she tied for first prize, with of course a Soviet Bela Davidovich. Only this time, the rules and competitors forewent the notion of a coin flip and shared first prize together. 